Hey Lab Shul. I want to share with you a story for this year's Passover Seder about patience and persistence, resilience and liberation. I'm coming to you from Washington Square Park on the Sunday before Passover, on Palm Sunday, as people behind me are waving flags and singing songs for democracy and liberation. So here's the story, real quick. It comes from Amos Oz, the Israeli author and Nobel Prize winner. And it's like this. There was a woman once who stood at her sink in her apartment with a window overlooking the street and washed the dishes. And she sees across the street there is a tree in front of another apartment building. And from the top floor, a shoe with laces falls down on one of the branches on the tree and gets stuck on the branch. The woman notices the shoe on the branch, keeps on washing the dishes. The shoe is stuck. A week, a month, a year, a decade go by. Every once in a while she washes the dishes, others do too. And one night she stands at the sink, looking outside the window, the shoe is still there, but suddenly she sees the shoe drop to the ground. And she understands. She was privy to the moment of entanglement and the mo moment of redemption. This entire time the shoe wasn't static, it was plodding for liberation. It was using gravity to grow more free. What's the story? The Exodus was just the beginning. Every year when we meet for Passover, it is an exercise in collective optimism, as my teacher Anita Diamond wrote. We have to imagine what is the liberation of the future? How do we support each other for all the types of liberations and freedoms and growth we need as individuals and as a collective? Let the shoe drop. Watch it, make it happen, gather for freedom. When we fill up Elijah's cup, the fifth cup, it is the cup of hopes and visions. Fill it up with your visions. What will this world look like in a year next Passover when we've done more to liberate the shoe within each one of us and in the world. Happy Passover from Washington Square Park. Magnolias and daffodils, spring is in the air. Chag Sameach, Passover of meaning and see you soon.